electricity to resistors in series in parallel series resistors when we connect resistors in series in a circuit we increase the resistance to the flow of current thus making it one path through which the current flows hence the current is seen to be the same at all points in the series circuit so we could say there's a constant current in series since the current that passes through each light bulb from this diagram depends on the voltage across it, the smaller voltage across each of the light bulbs means that the smaller current will pass through them. So the light will not be as bright. Because the light bulbs are connected in series, this means that the current passing through each of them is the same. Let's consider this. On the left, there is a circuit with a single resistor and a battery. No matter where we measure the current, it is the same. While on the right, we have a circuit with a second resistor connected in series. The total resistance in the circuit has increased, and you can see from the readings on the ammeter that the current in the circuit has decreased. The combined total resistance RT of resistance R1, R2 in series is given by RT equals R1 plus R2. To prove the resistance formula for series, bearing in mind that the constant current is in series, we have V equals V1 plus V2, where V is the applied potential difference and V1, V2 are the potential difference across the individual resistance R1 and R2. But V1 equals to I times R1 and V2 equals to I times R2. So V equals to I times R1 plus I times R2. On collecting like terms, we have V equals to I times R1 plus R2. Since R equals V over I, the combined resistance is given by RT equals to R1 plus R2. Let's consider this circuit diagram. Since the potential difference V across the combined resistance R is 20 volts and the combined total resistance RT of resistance R1, R2 in series is 25 ohms, that is, from RT equals to R1 plus R2. So from the diagram, the current I flowing in both resistors is the same. From I equals V over R, which implies 20 divided by 25. Let's clarify it a little bit more. 1. The potential difference V1 across the 20 ohms wire or the 20 ohms resistor is actually given by V1 equals to I times R1, which is 0 0.8 times 20 equals to 16 volts. Secondly, the potential difference V2 across the 5 ohms wire or resistor is similarly given by V2 equals to I times R2, which is 0 0.8 times 5 equals to 4 volts. So when we sum up V1 and V2 as a check, you see that the total potential difference will be 20 volts, which is the applied voltage to the circuit. Let's consider another example. An ammeter connected in a circuit which records 1 amp. If a voltmeter is connected in parallel to one of the resistors R2, determine the combined resistance of the three resistors, given that R1 equals to 1 ohms, R2 is unknown, and R3 equals 2 ohms. Assuming all resistors are connected in series. Solution Since current is constant across the resistors being in series, the voltage across the R2 is equal to V over I1, which is 3 over 1, which is 3 ohms. Hence, the combined total resistance RT of resistance R1, R2, R3 in series is given by RT equals to R1 plus R2 plus R3 which is RT equals 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals 6 ohms parallel resistors when we add resistors in parallel we create more path along which the current can flow by doing this we decrease the total resistance of the circuit so there's a constant voltage in parallel this means that if we have several light bulbs connected in parallel the voltage across each light bulb is equal to the voltage that is produced by the battery. 
let's consider this on the left we have the same circulars in the previous diagram with the battery and the resistor the ammeter shows a current of 1 amp while on the right is a circuit with a second resistor connected in parallel to the first this increases the pathway the charge can flow or take in the circuit the total resistance has therefore decreased hence the current in the circuit is increased did you notice that the current in the branches are different? we combine the total resistance RT of resistance R1 and R2 in parallel is given by 1 over RT plus 1 over R1 1 over R2 to prove the resistance formula for parallel bear in mind that there is a constant voltage in parallel we have I equals to I1 plus I2 I1 equals to V over R1 and I2 equals to V over R2 so I equals to V over R1 plus V over R2 in collecting like terms we have I equals to V times 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 since R equals V over I and 1 over R equals to I over V the combined resistance is given by 1 over RT equals to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 let's consider a problem given a cell of negligible internal resistance calculate the current I1, I2 and I3 solution since the potential difference V across the 10 ohms and 20 ohms resistor is 6 volt then the current I1 is I1 equals to V over R1 which is 6 divided by 10 which gives us 0 0.6 amp B then I2 is V over R2 which is 6 divided by 20 given us 0 0.3 amps C the current I3 is a combination of all the currents through both resistors which is I3 equals to I1 plus I2 which is 0 0.6 plus 0 0.3 giving us 0 0.9 amps a quick question why do more resistors make it easier for charges to flow in the circuit you could pause the video and try to answer it it is because they are in parallel so there are more pathways for charges to pass you can think of it like a highway with more lanes and alternate routes the more branches there are the easier it is for charges to flow conclusion always remember that more resistors in parallel means more pathways for the charge but in series the pathways come one after the other so it does not make it easy for charge to flow question time use the diagram to calculate a the combined resistance r1 and r2 b the total resistance of the circuit c the current i1 d the potential difference across xy and yz e the current i2 and i3